I'm John Beltran along with John Prouty. As the Mustangs are facing Skyline for the second time in 24 hours after yesterday's 11-7 victory by Skyline in Fort Morgan with five runs, all with two outs in the top of the seventh inning. Mustangs go into this game with a 5-3 and three overall record, 2-1 and one in league play, and Skyline at 1-0 and oh in league play and 2-4 and four overall. And John, this is where the Mustangs will be tested mentally and emotionally considering the magnitude of yesterday's loss when they were one strike away from a win. And you you got to bounce back here. Yeah, and you just got to figure out a way to turn that page and uh, get on to the next game. This is a whole brand new game, and uh, we'll see how they respond. Hopefully they come out and bats are hot and they're ready to play. That's it. You The key word phrase there, three word phrase, turn that page. The opening pitch brought to you by Buildings by Design. First impressions are important. Visit buildingsbydesign.com. Mustang starting lineup brought to you by B&B Appliance. Pretty much the same, although Charlie Langford will hit third today. And the offering. And that fastball is a strike on the inside corner at the knees. The low strike at that. No balls and one strike. Here to... Jaden Carrera from the right-hander Jake Clifford who did not appear in yesterday's game and that's a strike at the knees with a fastball it's 0-2 Carrera followed by Isaiah Ortiz moved up to the two hole and Charlie Langford the stretch and the offering swung on and tapped foul along the right side remains at no balls and two strikes Mustangs hit the ball pretty well yesterday. So did Skyline, though. The difference, though, John, is that Skyline's pitching was a lot more spot on than Fort Morgan's. Too many walks issued by Mustang pitchers. Fastball is up and away. One ball and two strikes. So you mentioned the hitting, but the pitch, pitching's got to come around. Yeah, it's one of those you got to have the whole package. If you don't, if you got half of it, then you're playing with half a, half a game. You got to pay the whole game. Out of the stretch with the bases empty and the offering. Swing and a miss and a fastball, and you got to swing at strikes. That pitch was around neck high, at least neck high, if not higher. One down as Carrera goes down swinging, and that'll send up the number two hitter, Isaiah Ortiz, as Coach Langford shuffling the lineup around a little bit. And now Ortiz in that two hole. Jaden hitting 348 going in. Isaiah Ortiz at 316. Another right-handed hitter. It's an all-right-handed hitting lineup for the Mustangs. And the offering. Fastball is up and away. One ball and no strikes. Grayson Gomez yesterday starting pitchers at first. Emilio Gutierrez at second. Samuel Carmona's at third. J.D. Wright is the shortstop. Mustangs in their road grays the pitch. That pitch is up and in. 2-0 and in left field is Matt Lanier. Jonathan Canars in center. Talon Starcevich in right. Brody Hufford back behind the plate. And again, Jake Clifford out of the stretch with the bases empty. And a 2-0. Fastball down the middle for a strike at the knees. Two balls and one strike on Isaiah Ortiz. And the offering down and away off the glove of the catcher, Hufford, 3-1. and one. And, John, it's April 4th, but, man, this feels like uh, late May weather. It's 74 degrees with no wind. Yeah, and I we were coming over, and it was actually a 77 at one point. So, yeah, it's a beautiful day, no wind. Good day for baseball. The pitch, and that one bounces away. And now, if you're Ortiz, you want to take off. This is a huge amount of room between the backstop and the catcher. I mean, realistically, yeah. he takes off. I'm not saying he would have got the second, but... You, you don't want to be taking off your, your uh, ankle gear there at the plate, John. Right. That's when you get down there and turn and turn that base and take a look. Um, and that's just having good baseball IQ, too. Yeah. I mean, that's not a place. That, that's a live ball. And that's got to be told to Ortiz next time so he doesn't do the same thing. Right. Here's Charlie Langford. He homered yesterday. In fact, he had three hits. The pitch down and away with a fastball is also the losing pitcher. In that game, Charlie, as you can imagine, tearing it up, hitting 500, 14 hits on the season. 
Also leads the team with 11 RBIs, which is why he's moved down in the lineup. Swung on and chopped over the mound towards second. This could be a double play. Stepping in the bag and throwing to first. Yep. And that's a double play, a 4-3. Emilio Gutierrez turned that double play. And the Mustangs are denied in the top of the first inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left. And we'll, we'll keep it right here for the bottom of the first one. Looks like Coach is going out here. And I'm I think not he was arguing that he pulled his foot. First baseman pulled mm, his foot. Yeah, that's yeah, that that doesn't look that legit to be honest with you. I mean, at least from this vantage point, and the umpire's right there. Mm -hmm. As we'll head to the bottom of the first, the Mustangs do not score on We'll take a 30-second break on B106 in the Eastern Plains Sports Network. The Johns are back with you here in uh, Longmont. John Beltran with John Prouty. And it's no score. The Mustangs did not score in the first inning. Let's get to the starting lineup for Skyline. Have to reset the Mustangs in the top of the second inning. Here in the bottom of the first, batting first is the second baseman, Emilio Gutierrez. The center fielder, Jonathan Canar, hits second. First baseman, Grayson Gomez, is the third hitter. The cleanup hitter is the left fielder, Matt Lanier. Shortstop, J.D. Wright, hits fifth. Samuel Carmona, the third baseman, hits sixth. The right fielder hits seventh. That's Talon Starcevich. Brody Hufford, the catcher, hits eighth. And batting ninth is the D.H. Tobias Pinson. For the Mustangs, defensively, Michael Strange is at first. Isaiah Ortiz is at second. Miguel Davila at third. In between them at short is Charlie Lankford. The left fielder is Angel Lopez. Samson Ortega's in center. J.J. Marquez in right. Behind the plate is Jason Diaz. And on the mound is Jaden Carrera. Quite a bit of activity this year. One and one with an ERA of seven. This will be his fifth start of the season. Got to get that strikeout to walk ratio up. He's got 11 strikeouts and 10 walks. You don't have to be a strikeout pitcher, but if you're not a strikeout pitcher, John, you don't want to issue free passes either. Right. You got to, I mean, at least get the ball in play. Give your defense a um, chance to make a play for you too because it's not always just about the pitcher striking everybody out. Emilio Gutierrez was two for three yesterday with an RBI. He'll bat from the left side against the right-hander, Jaden Carrera. Mustangs don't play for a week, so this is a big game. You got Mountain View at home next Thursday, then a week from Saturday in Loveland against that same Mountain View team. Defense playing straight up for Fort Morgan. Wine in the pitch, and that's a strike on the outside corner. Took something off of that one. It's 0-1, good start for Carrera in the bottom of the first inning. He kicks and delivers. Breaking balls just outside. Count levels at one and one to the left-handed hitting second baseman Emilio Gutierrez. And the pitch and that breaking ball hit him. You could tell Johnny yeah. Really, I don't know if that release was late or something, but, I mean, that ball started off towards the inside corner, and there's no way in a breaking ball that's not going to hit the hitter. Right. And the hitter, and he was disciplined hitter, stood in. Um, but, yeah, I think it was just the angle was all wrong on the release on that and just nothing to do. Jonathan Kanar was 0 for 3, then hit by a pitch on an 0-2, and that pretty much changed yesterday's game. Skyline scored five unanswered runs with two outs and stunned the Mustangs in an 11-7 victory. Throw back to first, back in diving is Gutierrez. Big day today, John. Today's National Burrito Day. You might want to consider that for... Uh, and I've been known to pound down a few burritos <laughs> in my day. <laughs> and the offering... That's a little bit low. Pretty good pitch, but just missed. One ball and no strikes. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to have at least one. Yeah. Oh, if it's National Burrito Day, you got to have uh, yeah, at least no, one. Yeah, I'm not making that up. I, I will not make up a food <laughs> holiday. It'll be legit. The stretch at the belt. Two-step lead for Gutierrez. The pitch swung on and driven in the air to right field. J.J. Marquez now to his left. Will range under it. Makes the catch. 
for the out as that ball was twisting a little bit away. And there's one down. And if that changeup is working for Jaden, he's going to get fly balls because they'll be underneath the baseball and out in front. Right. And that you know, and that's just the thing is is you got to get them. I mean, let them hit, but let them hit junk balls. Exactly. Here is Grayson Gomez. Gomez one for three in yesterday's skyline victory. The offering fastball is upstairs. We'll go interactive for a little bit in the top of the third inning when the Mustangs hit on our B106 Facebook page. So you get to see John's handsome face and my ugly one. <laughs> Just a little bit. I might break your camera. The pitch. Breaking ball is blocked by Jason Diaz. And you see this with Mustang pitching, which, you know, you can question it. When you pitch backwards, you're behind in the count 1-0. And you're going with a breaking ball. And I haven't seen a Mustang pitcher this year who's been consistent with a breaking ball. Right. So, I mean, we've had some pitchers that have some good stuff, but it's the consistency. you gotta, you got to know that you've got that. Well, yeah. my point being, John, if you throw a ball, you fall behind in the count. Right. And then you got to come in with a fastball unless, you know, you really want to outthink yourself in a way. Two balls and no strikes. One out, no score. Bottom of the first inning with a man on for skyline. The pitch. In the dirt, skips away, and that'll be a wild pitch. And to second will be Canar. Check that, Gutierrez. Canar was just retired. Three balls and no strikes. But that's just what you talked about. There's a huge amount of distance between the catcher and his backstop. Yeah, without a doubt, 3-0 and on Grayson Gomez. Matt Lanier, who had a huge game yesterday, is on deck. And he hits from the left side, too. The pitch right down the middle for a strike, maybe on the outer half a little bit, three and one. And this is what happened with J.J. yesterday, struggled with his control in the first inning, then settled down. Right. Because Jaden's only got three strikes to him, but he has recorded an out. The offering, breaking ball is just outside. It's a walk. Here's Lanier. And all Lanier did yesterday was go two for five with four RBI, so he only had two hits, but he drove in four. Right, and he was, I mean, the hits he did have were good hits. Oh man, were they ever. He bats with two on and one out in the bottom of the first inning. And John, to me, this is gonna go one of two ways, and I'll tell you here in just a second. And the offering up and away and then the ball got away for a second nice play by diaz to retrieve it as quickly as possible either skyline's going to win big or fort morgan's going to win a close game i just after yesterday it's it's tough for a team to rebound and just win going away especially one that lost the way they did right now yeah. hope i'd love to see the mustangs win by five or six runs but that usually in baseball doesn't happen especially when you're on the road after that home loss Breaking ball is up and away. Two balls and no strikes. Well, he's really trying to find that zone where the umpire likes it and where it gives him the best advantage, and he just hasn't quite found that yet. Got to get him with a changeup. His fastball is pretty decent, but it's the changeup that's going to help Jaden Carrera. 2-0. That's a changeup for a strike, and that was extremely well located on the outside corner just above the knees, and it's 2-1. and one. But see, that's even better as an out pitch, mm -hmm. as opposed to coming back in the count when you're down. And he's but been he, slowly creeping it in on that outside corner. He, and there's a balk. There's a balk. I don't think he paused. I don't think there was a complete pause. And Carrera called for a balk. And now runners at second and third. The infield will play back. They'll concede a run for an out. He'll pitch out of the windup with a two ball, one strike count. And the offering. Fastball is upstairs. You've got a base open, so a walk wouldn't kill you. Right. Three and one. And the kick and the pitch. Nope. Way outside. I think that was almost by design, John. I think he was pitching around him. I think so. I mean, I, I think he was trying to get him to chase, but he just wasn't going to do it. Um, and like you said, there was a base open, so we're at where we're at. And we'll see what he does with it now. 
Well, it is J.D. Wright. Wright was one for four with a that lone base hit being a single. Here's the wine in the pitch. Squaring to Bunches, a suicide squeeze. Lays it up the first baseline. There's not going to be a play. And it's a base hit and a run scores on a suicide squeeze. What a bunt there by Wright as Emilio Gutierrez crosses home plate and Skyline leads 1-0. John, that is perfect small ball baseball. It really is. And both the first baseman and the pitcher were going for the ball. Um, I don't know where the second baseman was when he realized there was a play. He was already way behind it and not, yeah. not even there. I don't think Ortiz could have gotten there in time. He was so far off. Yeah. And really, I don't think that's a defensive miscue. It's just a perfect bunt. It was. Just a first base bunt. Swung on, grounded right back to the mound. you got to go to the plate for one. It's a high throw. Diaz comes back on the back throw to first. It's going to be late. And Carrera made a tactical error. I don't know why he looked off first. You go immediately to the plate. Yeah. Did you see that, John? There was some hesitation. I did. That's it, a force play. He looked over to first, and then he realized it was the force play. Um, yeah, and again, you just have to he turn on that baseball brain and know where the play's going and get ahead of it because had had he gone straight to home and it's, it's an easy gone straight to first, you got a double play and you're out of the inning. That is just a tactical error. Again, that swung on, and that ball is laced into left field for a base hit. One run is in. Here comes the second. Throw is cut off. Throw back to nope. second. And the ball skips away into right center field. That'll be an error, allowing the lead runner or the trail runner there to advance to third. And it's 3 to nothing skyline. Well, and he held him up. I don't know why he threw that ball. He fisted it right into the dirt. But he uh, didn't really have a play. By the time the runner started going back, he didn't have a play at second. I don't know why you throw that. Talon Starcevich with a two-run single. And, John, how many miscues have we had here? That's two in a row. Should have been a 1-2-3 double play. Right. And if you get the 1-2-3 double play, we're not even talking about a base hit there by Starcevich. Right. It would have saved you two runs. Instead it would have been 1-0 instead of 3-0 right it. now and still trying to get that third out. The pitch to Hufford. Breaking balls a strike. Well, this is why you and I just had the conversation. Four Morgans either going to win a close game or they're going to lose big. Yep. And they've got to get their heads in the game because... It's not off to a good start in the first inning, down 3 nothing. the pitch. Fastball is upstairs, 1-1. One and, one. and John, from our standpoint, is very frustrating because you know the potential of this team. And you can, and we had the base running miscues yesterday, and you're a 5-3 yep. and three team. You're not two games into the season. This is no. game nine. Curveball is a strike. That's a beautiful pitch on the outer half of the knees. And Fort Morgan is a solid team, they, but the problem they've had all season is just putting it all together at the same time. And they did have a five-game winning streak. Yes. One-two pitch up and away. Count levels at two and two. To Brody Hufford, eighth hitter of the inning. Actually scored two runs yesterday, the pitch. Called strike three. That was an excellent pitch on the inside corner by Jaden Carrera. And it's a called strike three. However, in the inning for Skyline, three runs on two hits. There was one error and another mental error. And two men left. Let's head to the second inning in one minute. It's Skyline three, Fort Morgan nothing on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. John Beltran with John Prouty. Let's head to the second inning. We're live in Longmont at Skyline High School. Skyline leads 3 to nothing. John, let's hope that's the worst inning for Fort Morgan in this game because if it's not, it's going to be a long Thursday afternoon. It will be, yeah. And again, hopefully, like you said, that was the quicksand inning. They're out of it. They've got it all out of their system. And start swinging some big sticks here, and let's get some runs back. And, you know, we've talked about this. We know in baseball, hitting comes and goes. But the mental side of the game has got to be on the whole time. Yes. It's got to be on the whole time. Fielding, uh, obviously base running, because we've seen these lapses already. Right. And if you are playing. Fastball is low. And if you're playing and you don't have, you can be a great athlete, a great baseball player. But if you don't have your, your mental IQ turned on, then you're, it's going to cost you. Jason Diaz, the hitter, foul to the backstop. And the count is level at one ball and one strike. Jason Diaz hitting 318, a really solid, consistent hitter yesterday. 
was two for four. Open stance, the pitch. Swung on and popped up foul territory. Going out. Towards the skyline, dugout, it's out of play as Brody Hufford gave chase, it's one and two. Skyline got a two-run single from Talon Starcevic after a gorgeous bunt from Carmona. Gave them a one-nothing lead on a suicide squeeze. And the offering. Swing and a miss and a pitch down in the zone. I think he threw him some junk there and there's one down. Yeah, and he's been pretty consistent on the pitching. And interestingly enough, it's my boss's cousin. <laughs> she told me he'd be pitching today. Is that right? It is. How about that? Yeah. That's a piece of information you're not getting anywhere except from John. <laughs> Second strikeout for the right-hander, Jake Clifford. Here's Angel Lopez. Hitting out of the five hole. The offering. Breaking ball is down and in. One ball and no strikes. The left fielder for the Mustangs, Angel Lopez, batting 188. Got a lot of speed. And this is going to be a slower infield with that grass. You could, if he could bunt himself on, lined, and that's going to be caught. That's a soft liner caught by the lunging second baseman, Emilio Gutierrez. And quite frankly, it was a liner, John, but it jammed him. It did. It jammed him, and so that was, and that was why it was the soft liner. Here's Samson Ortega. Had a base hit yesterday. Sampson hitting 400. And Sampson's got a lot of speed on him, too. Oh, yeah, without a question. Swung on, popped up, infield right side, and that's going to be caught easily by the first baseman, Grayson Gomez. And that is a very quick top of the second inning for Jake Clifford. A real quick inning. In fact, he threw just seven pitches. We head to the bottom of the second inning in one minute. It's Skyline 3, Fort Morgan nothing on the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Let's hit the bottom of the second inning in Longmont. It's Skyline 3, Fort Morgan nothing. John Beltran along with John Prouty. Same first name, both married to Amy's. John and I both have green eyes, lots in common, and we both love baseball as our favorite sport. It is. But there's something else we have in common that we want to happen today. That's a Mustang victory, John. Yes, we sure do. I, I want to see him walk off the field with a W. Let's pick up this level of play in the bottom of the second inning. It's Tobias Pinson, the nine hitter. Pretty good DH yesterday, had a couple of hits. He was instrumental in that win, squaring to bunt. And he bunts it up the third base side, charging as Miguel Davila throws the first for the out. And that one confused me from Pinson's standpoint. He must have not seen Miguel charging because yeah, it turned out to right be a, there. It was a very easy play. You bunted right to the third baseman. Miguel made the play and easy scoop and throw to first. And he was out by a good five feet. Yeah, that is as easy a play as you will see. Here is Emilio Gutierrez hit by a pitch. Swung on and foul to the screen. This is a huge inning for Jaden. You keep this at 3 nothing. You, you chip away with a run or two in the third inning, and then you're back in the game. I mean, you're not out of the game at 3 nothing, but the Mustangs haven't had any life offensively. Swung on line foul on the slow breaking ball. So he's got 0-2 on him now. Here's where you got to go change up. He doesn't have a fastball that's going to blow you away like Langford does. Right. If you throw fastball, get it up in the zone. Up in the zone, make it look fat so he takes that swing. Yeah, but that changeup is pretty good. The offering, that's a changeup, and it's yep. outside. And I don't know that I'd be hitting a changeup on that outside corner right now. No, and that's a good take there, but it was clearly a ball thrown to Emilio Gutierrez. One-two pitch. Curveball is oh. upstairs. Yeah, that missed. Two and two. Yeah, now you're setting up for the changeup. you yep. got to set up changeup here. And you got to go inside. And yet, without question, two balls, two strikes. The pitch, and he went away, and that mm. fastball is outside, three and two. Boy, that was close. He must have just been just off the plate. On yeah, that. I, I mean, this umpire has been consistent so far. That, that was, to me, that was a ball, three and two. It was close. The kick and the offering, and that's not even close. Mm -hmm. That's a fastball up and away, and John, We've seen the difference here between these two pitchers. What did you just talk about? Jake Clifford, the skyline pitcher, is attacking inside. Yep. Fort Morgan's got to do a little bit more of that. Well, and we got to be attacking, but we got to be locating better, too. Right, right. 
without without a doubt. All right, that'll bring up Jonathan Kanar. Kanar hit that pop up into right field to JJ Marquez. His first time up. There's only been two balls hit in the outfield. The base hit by Starcevich, and that fly ball hit by Kanar in the first inning. At the belt, three step lead at first. Long pause by Carrera. The pitch fastball is high. And he's thrown five consecutive pitches out of the zone. Now he's missing even more wildly. Mm -hmm. And and I think that I I watched him. He you know paying way too much attention to first base and he did, losing sight of the batter. He did on that one. Well, yesterday when you had left for a second, Ortiz came in and he threw the ball away down the right field line. So you don't want to pay too much attention. Runner goes to second, pitches high throw, is right there, but late. That's a stolen base, and that was clearly on the pitcher. Diaz unveiled a shot down to second base, but it was a good jump, John. Nothing that Jason Diaz could do, and it's right. a stolen base. And it's one of those, as pitcher, you got to know he, he's going to jump on you, so you've got to speed up your windup there. You can't take those slow windups. 2-0, and oh, the delivery. That's a strike. That stops a string of six consecutive balls thrown by Jaden Carrera. Went with a fastball away. Two and one. Skyline leads three to nothing. Bottom of the second inning. The pitch. Curveball is popped up. Right side. Shallow right. Marquez charging. Still coming. And it drops for a base oh. hit. Then the ball gets behind him. Canard is second. And around third and scoring. And making it four to nothing for... Skyline is Emilio Gutierrez. That's going to be scored a single and an error on the right fielder, Marquez. And we'll give him an RBI. Gutierrez was off with, with contact anyway. That was a really good pitch thrown by Jaden. It really was. And those are the kind of hits that you want. It just dropped way short, and Marquez was out there playing way deep. Well, this is a huge field, but uh, I don't know if it was necessary to play that deep. And he probably, he probably did because Kanar is the one who hit that fly ball as previous at bat. Right. Here's Grayson Gomez, another right-handed hitter. The pitch, curveballs a strike on the inside corner. No balls in one strike. Here to Gomez. At the belt and the offering. Fastball is high. And you, you can't make any apologies for the right-hander for Fort Morgan. Carrera, sophomore, he's done this to himself. He's hit a batter and he's walked three. And that's a recipe for trouble. Yeah. You've, you've and you gotta, just got to figure out how you get it back under control. One ball, one strike, one out, one on, one across. Four-nothing skyline in the second. Breaking ball, swing and a miss. That's the best pitch he's thrown in the first two innings. Gomez swung over it and ahead of it. Oh, yeah, and Gomez went chasing on that. He I, he didn't read it very well, but he went chasing on it, but it was an excellent pitch. One ball and two strikes. Diaz setting up on the outside corner. Looking back, looking in. The pitch, way outside. I would like to see those waste pitches thrown a little bit closer to the strike zone, John. I agree. I mean, they're going, they're going a good two feet outside the plate. Yeah, I mean... I mean, no. it's nothing close, and it's one of those you right. got to locate better. Exactly. It doesn't have to be a strike, but don't make it an obvious ball. Two and two. The offering. Swung on and lifted into right field. Marquez to his left. He's got plenty of room out there. He'll make the catch. The runner tags. Now to throw to third. There's going to be a play, oh. and it skips by Miguel Davila and backed up beautifully by Carrera. Well, Miguel tried to play it on a short hop, but the thing is, if you play it on a short hop, you've got no play at third. Might as well back up. Exactly. Play it on the long hop, especially if you see Carrera going past you, and you know he's got your back on that one. But that's a great play by the Mustang pitcher. Excellent play, knowing that he was part of that play. Two down, and here is Matt Lanier, who walked his first time up. Batting for the left side. The pitch, changeup is a strike on the outside corner at the knees. That's the best changeup he's thrown so far. That was beautifully yeah, it, located. It was. It was a perfect pitch. This game is all about duplication. Can you duplicate your successes? Yep. And the 0-1. That changeup is down and away. Now, see, that's a good miss. That wasn't 
way, way outside. It was clearly outside, but... Well, and you hope that maybe he'll chase on that because he just saw the same pitch. Exactly. You get him thinking. One ball, one strike. And the offering. Swag and a miss and a fastball above the letters. It's one and two. He hasn't thrown that pitch much, but that was a nicely located, even though it was a ball, but he swung right. at it. So what, what pitch do you think you drop in here? <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> climb that ladder. That's right. Climb that ladder and stepping off. You got him chasing. Make him chase another one. Yeah, but make sure you don't make a mistake and make that a hittable pitch. Exactly. Here is the one-two. Swung on line. Oh. That's a base hit down the left field line. He threw him a hanging changeup. Lanier's around first. A run scores. Headed for second. The throw is going to be late. It's an RBI double, and Skyline leads five to nothing. That was not a fastball, John. Nope, it was not. And you even said, don't hang it out there for him. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened. And he was waiting for it. Don't lefties have nice swings? That's a beautiful one. That was. Uh, going was the other way. Opposite field, and it's just a nice, smooth swing. But Jaden, again, struggling with his control. 22 balls and 21 strikes. And trailing 5 to nothing in the bottom of the second. Here's J.D. Wright. Wright had that beautiful suicide squeeze. It was not Carmona. He's on deck. Fastball is up and in. One ball and no strikes. Yeah, the Mustangs are going to have to do a little damage in the third. At least get a couple of base runners on. So, Yeah, they, and it's hard because they're not um, forcing their pitcher to – they're not forcing Clifford to make any pitches. He's right. got a fresh arm. It was a seven-pitch second inning. Curveball is inside. It's 2-0. and oh. Jaden threw very well in his last home start, but he's reverting back to earlier this season when he kind of struggled with his control. Couldn't, yeah. Could not – getting out against Brush in his first start of the season. He's gotten better, obviously, since then. Well, and I think, too, at this point, as Diaz needs to probably go out there and talk to his cat pitcher right. and get him calmed down. You get have him a, out of his head. That's a good point. You have a senior catcher. Yeah. Two balls and no strikes. Swung on and grounded a second. Ortiz is right there. He fires to first for the out. And there retired is J.D. Wright, but it's another multiple run inning. For the Skyline Falcons, two runs on two hits. There was one error and one left. Let's head to the third inning. We'll go interactive later on in the top of the third. Skyline right now on their home field leads Fort Morgan 5 to nothing on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. We'll go interactive soon here on our B106 Facebook page for the top of the third inning. The Mustangs trail Skyline 5 to nothing in Longmont. Miguel Davila, Chase Prouty, and J.J. Marquez. Yeah, once there's a couple of outs, which hopefully won't take place for a while. Yeah, they need a big inning. We need to get something going. Exactly. Just and the something. bottom of the order was pretty good here a couple games ago, so maybe they bring everything to life. Here is Miguel, the pitch. And that one hit him. Yep. I think it got it him did. right around that left elbow or somewhere there. Looked like it hit him right off the left hip. Oh, it did get the left. You're right. It, uh, if it was the left elbow, he'd be hurting. He would be. Yeah, that's uh, that would be a lot more painful. Yeah, the hip, there's some flush there. And that makes it a lot easier. Here is Chase Prouty stepping in. Chase still over 300, batting 333, 0 for 2 yesterday. The offering down and away. Was on base a couple of times. One ball and no strikes. Here to Chase. Jake Clifford has been in control, but just hit the first batter, Davila, on the first pitch. And that's over, but low. Two balls and no strikes. All right, this is uh, this is a good spot for Chase. Ahead in the count at 2-0. and oh. Yeah. Might be taking here. Let's see. The offering. Swung on line down the right field line. It's foul. That's it twisting is. foul. See, there's two philosophies there, John. He hasn't thrown a strike. You take a pitch. Or you know he's got to throw a strike, and it's going to be a fat one down the middle. Right. And that's what it was. And Chase, nice job of going the other way, just 
Yeah, he Little really wanted to opposite field it and put it right on the line. He was close, but not close enough. Look at the gap in left center. They're shading him towards right field because of that swing. Yep. 2-1 in the dirt. One with a change up. Three balls and one strike. Again, we'll go interactive a little bit later on in this top of the third. Get a, at least a couple of hitters for you, if not more. We really can't show you. We can do live look-ins, but not an entire game. The pitch, and that one bounces in and bounces away. It's get a around. Walk. Well, it's Why a live ball. Jogging? It's a live ball. Well, certainly Hi. Miguel's got to take off more than that. And even yeah. Josh Langford pointing that out. It's a live ball. You don't jog to second. No. And I can tell you, I played for a coach. You jog, and he'll, you'll be sitting the rest of the game. Well, this isn't slow pitch softball. No. That's a dead ball in slow I, pitch. I was, and as deep as this backstop is, and I just see him, just see people jogging, and I'm like, why yeah, are you jogging? Can't do that. Get around the bag and take a look. Make them think, get into their head. Here's J.J. Marquez squaring to bunt. Fastball is low. Throw back to second. And Davila back in diving. Yeah, throw is offline. He was way out there, though. Way out there. One ball and no strikes. And honestly, as far out as he was making that throwback, he should have just took off for third. That's correct. Squaring a bunt, and he lays it down third base side. That's an excellent bunt. Barehanded throw to third and out. Oh, man, it was a good bunt, but Davila did not get a good jump there from second to third. That should have well, been a sack, and well, instead there's one down. First base played it. Um, first baseman Romero played it, and he put it right there on the money. So it was, it was a, a good bunt, but they were they saw it coming. Showed way too early. I still thought it should have gotten there, but it didn't happen. Right. And your lead runner is eliminated at third base. Here's Jaden Carrera. Now you don't bunt. No. Because it didn't work last time. That's a strike on the outside corner, the extreme outside corner. Yeah, I think the catcher actually stole one on that because I watched him pull it in a little. Okay, we're going interactive right now. You can see what's happening. No balls and one strike to Jaden Carrera. While we see you online, we'll be happy to acknowledge you here. 0-2 on the B106 Facebook page. We are live right now from Skyline High School, the Mustangs Trail. The pitch way outside. Yeah, he was trying to get him to chase on that one. And... There are John and I right there on Facebook Live. There we go. I know you don't want to see us. You'd rather see some game action. And there you go with a pitch. Swung on and fouled. Count remains at one ball and two strikes. Again, we'll go interactive for a couple of hitters here. Well, Carrera's keeping it going. He's just got to get a good at bat here. Make Clifford waste some pitches. There you see Prouty at second. Mark has it first. And the 1 2. Curveball is swung on and fouled. That's the fifth pitch of the at bat. And that's okay. Just keep it going. Remains at 1 and 2. Yeah, log on to our B106. You can feel free to comment if you want here. We'll be here for a couple of batters and then back with you in the bottom of the sixth inning. Throw back to second. Chase is back and easy. The shortstop, JD Wright, shading behind the bag. And we're going to do this on the road. On the road this season, we'll be doing this for some half innings on the B106 Facebook page. One ball, two strikes, the pitch. And that is a fastball called oh. strike three. Man, it looked a little bit low. It looked a lot low to me. <laughs> yeah, that did not look like a strike, but JD, uh, Jaden Carrera is rung up. Yeah. That did look low, John. Yeah, I think that the uh, umpire missed that one. And here is Isaiah Ortiz. The Mustangs down five to nothing here in the top of the third inning. Three runs in the first inning for Skyline and two in the second. Again, two on, two out. The pitch swung on and fisted foul off to the right. No balls, one strike. That's still a good at bat by Jaden. He took him to six pitches. He did, and, and we need to get Clifford to waste some pitches out there too. Beautiful day, as you can see here in Longmont. Just a gorgeous day. No balls and one strike to Ortiz. The Mustangs yet to score, but have got a man in scoring position to pitch. 
foul to the backstop, and it's 0-2. Thanks to those logging on to our Facebook page here. We'll go live again in the bottom of the sixth inning through the end of this inning. No balls and two strikes to Isaiah Ortiz. And again, we're going to be doing this on the road this year. Some live look-ins and going interactive. If you have anything you want to comment, feel free, and we'll certainly acknowledge you on air. On B106, the pitch. Swing and a miss on the ball in the dirt. And well, he's got to throw to first to complete the strikeout. And that's it. And we will finish here, and we'll be back with you for the bottom of the sixth inning on B106 on Facebook Live. But the Mustangs squander an opportunity as they strand two runners. They had first and second and nobody out. And they do not score in this top of the third inning as Isaiah Ortiz went down on just three pitches. We'll take a break. We'll head to the bottom of the third and we'll do that here. In 60 seconds at Skyline 5, Fort Morgan nothing on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Along with my brother, John Prouty, I'm John Beltran. Bottom of the third inning in Longmont. Skyline with a 5 to nothing lead. The Mustangs really squandered an opportunity, John, in the top of the third. Two on, nobody out, and couldn't do anything with it. Well, and I'll tell you, too, I mean, it, it was too bad. I don't know if he would have gotten it first or not, but he just assumed he was out and stopped running and again it's just really about turning on our baseball brains and playing the game yeah brody hufford the catcher he kind of hesitated so did ortiz and maybe hufford hesitated because ortiz had stopped and then once he realized that the umpire signaled safe in other words it was not a completed strikeout because the ball was in the dirt that's when hufford decided to throw through and complete the strikeout and finish off the inning but the bottom line the mustangs could not execute a bunt when Skyline did for the first run on a suicide squeeze by J.D. Wright. And it's the little things right there yep. besides the pitching, which has been much better for Skyline than Fort Morgan. In fact, Isaiah Ortiz is now the new pitcher. And Jaden Carrera, who had a rough start, will now be at second base. And Isaiah's thrown a lot this year. He's battled quite a bit. Yeah, he really has. And he's he's shown that he has earned his place on the mound out there as part of the team. And... Uh, and when he's on, he's got a pretty good arm out there. Well, he's 1-0 with a 5-6 ERA, 5.6. This will be a sixth appearance. So he's a little bit of an Iron Man. You know, you're making six appearances, and this is only your ninth game. Yeah. So they, and they, they go to him as a reliever quite a bit, and he's been solid at doing that. Well, this is the thing. This is a young pitching staff. You have three sophomores yes. on this pitching staff that have gotten regular time, Marquez, Carrera, and Ortiz. The pitch, that's a strike, took something off it. Down the middle, it's 0-1. But that's just how you want to start. To Samuel Carmona, grounded into a fielder's choice. The offering, fastball is up and in. Carmona had a key at bat, John, because he hit that bouncer back to Jaden, who got the force at home, but really hesitated. It would have been a 1-2-3 double play. We're looking at a different game. Yeah. The pitch swung on and grounded a short. Charlie is right there, gobbles it up, sidearms to first, one down. And Carmona is 0 for 2. That'll bring up Talon Starcevich, who had a big two run single with two outs. That's the other thing. Skyline is doing really well today, and like they did yesterday with two outs. Yeah. I mean, they've getting those, those two out rallies and, and staying in it. And scoring runs on two outs. That's it. Swing and a miss. Oh, yeah. That is a great first pitch because... That threw him completely off. Well, I think it was a fastball that he hit that first pitch on against Carrera. That time they threw a uh, an all-speed pitch, the 0-1. And that's in the dirt. One ball and one strike. Nice mix there by Ortiz. Starcevich, the number seven hitter in the lineup. Another right-handed hitter for Skyline. The offering, and that one is bounced in. Don't fly open with that left shoulder. That means the ball's gonna go outside every time. Yep. Keep that left shoulder closed and allow the body to run through and the arm to run through, so to speak. 
And the pitch. Now he's short arm that one. John, you can yep. see the short arm from here. That's it's all upper body. Well, and that's the problem is that when he's trying to get that good placement in there, he starts short arming it. And I was talking with his dad about this here a couple games ago and dad even recognizes it. They watch the film. Um, it's just getting him to break bad habits. Yeah, let it fly and don't yeah. aim it. Don't aim it. Three and one. The pitch. See that one he used his whole body and it's right there on the outer half for a strike. And you as soon as he goes long arm, you can tell the difference. He stayed more upright and didn't yeah. didn't shorten up that delivery. And the three two swung on drilled foul up the left side, way out in front on that off oh, speed pitch. But that's okay. Foul ball is a strike. Yep, three balls, two strikes. Bases empty. Bottom three, one out. Skyline with a five to nothing lead. Diaz lays down the sign and the pitch. That is a call oh, strike three. That was a bender, that and was. that completely froze Talon Starcevich, and it's a strikeout by Isaiah Ortiz, two down. Well, and John, we just talked about that too. If you're going to use a bender on that, you better have control over the zone, and he placed that just perfectly to freeze him. He was expecting the fastball, and it didn't come in. Nice job by Ortiz. Here's Huffer, the pitch. A little bit up and away. One ball and no strikes. Awaiting in the dirt. And you can tell the difference because he short-armed that again. He did. And whenever he short-arms it, he's going to put it right in the dirt. 2-0. and oh. And the offering swung on and fouled to the screen again. And you made the point. That's another one that he didn't short-arm whatsoever. Right. Kind of extended himself. When he extends himself, he's laying in nice pitches. Two and one. The offering swung on in line towards right center field. That will drop for a base hit. And unfortunately, and that, that clears the lineup there. That'll be the one hitter coming up on deck. I mean, you love where that nine hitter leads off the next inning. Right. But it's not going to happen here unless there's a pickoff. Here's Tobias Pinson. Henson had that rather unorthodox bunch with Davila charging, and he threw him out by a bunch. So I doubt he'll be bunting here. Oh, that looked like a balk. That's clearly a balk. He didn't step off the back. Yeah, and that's a balk. He didn't make the throw. Well, and he, even but if he, he didn't step off the yeah, back. Yeah, you, you have to make the right. If you step off the front, you got to make the throw, and he didn't right. do either. He didn't do either. He's got to make the throw. That's a second balk by Mustang pitching, and the fastball's up and away. One ball and no strikes to Tobias Pinson. Let's get a zero up there. Three runs in the first for Skyline, and two in the second. Three-step lead at second. The pitch. Nope. Curveball is up and in. It's 2-0 and oh. to Tobias Pinson. You don't want that lefty coming up. Gutierrez no. can swing it. you got to get this guy. Off of second is Hufford, and that pitch is in the dirt. Again, what have we been referring to? These guys come back with two outs. Yeah. For them, two outs is like zero outs. Two outs again. We had the balk, move the runner around into scoring position. 3-0. Nope. That is not even close. Very high. One with a little bit of an off-speed pitch. You have a base open, but that's not a good one there because no. you got a much better hitter in Gutierrez coming up. Well, and I really feel like when he got called in that balk, he just let that get in his head. Well, he's got to recover now. Gutierrez hit by a pitch and walked. He's been on base twice, the pitch, and that one nearly hit him with a fastball. Well, and he's short-arming that almost every time, and he's got to, he's got to stretch that arm out. Yeah, you got to elongate a little bit. Runners take their leads. And the 1-0. That pitch is a ooh, looked pretty good from here, but called yeah. a little bit low be below the knees. But here's the thing, John. If you are missing, you're not going to get the call. Right. Because the umpire is just assuming you're missing. Yeah. I mean, that's when it's close, you're not going to get the call. Up and away. Now, Jason's got to go out there. He really does. He needs to go out there and talk to his pitcher, get him calmed down, get him back out of his head, and get him thinking again, getting that baseball brain on. Yeah, that's seven consecutive balls thrown by Ortiz and make it eight. 
He kind of lobbed that one in there. I think he wanted to throw well, a changeup, but he slowed down his motion. Here comes Josh Langford. Yeah. So Langford's going to go out and talk to his pitcher. And this is where the game gets out of hand if Kennard is able to deliver. Five to nothing, you feel there's still a prayer, but if it's seven or eight to nothing, then you start wondering, do they even have a shot? Well, and we got bases loaded now, two outs, and we had this same situation yesterday, and it didn't turn out well for the Mustangs then. Nine locations across Northeast Colorado and Nebraska means there's always a Rudy's Tires close by. They bring you 10, 10 preps and more. Every weekday, visit rudystires.com for more. And Bank of Colorado believes in keeping things simple. Apply for the loan you need for your dream home fully online. Bankofcolorado.com. Here is Jonathan Kanar. 0 for 3 yesterday. 1 for 2, though, today on his home field. Bases loaded, 2 down out of the stretch in the offering. Fastball is high. That's nine consecutive balls. Thrown by Isaiah Ortiz. You got to throw a strike here. canar has got to wait for something. And that breaking oh, ball is yeah. a beauty. He threw him a curveball. That's a risky pitch, but he didn't want to just give it to him. Right. And it's one and one. And it made him turn just enough and didn't pick it up. Let's see if he can duplicate that. Looking back in the pitch. Curveball is grounded into left field. That's a base hit. Oh, yeah. Hufford scores. Pinson stepping on third. Two. The throw towards the plate is going to be late. And it's 7 to nothing. And the ball gets away up the first base side. And now He's rounding coming. third, headed for the plate. The throw, Diaz with a tag. And out. Out at the plate. And being gunned down is Emilio Gutierrez. But it's still a two-run single. And Skyline extends the lead after three innings as they are now up by a score of seven to nothing. Now the Mustangs gotta figure things out once we get to the fourth inning. Again, Skyline seven, Fort Morgan nothing on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Seven, one, two is how that last is scored after the base hit the two run single by Jonathan Kanar made it seven to nothing. And Emilio Gutierrez was out by five feet at the plate. But they don't care, John. They've got a hefty lead here. They've scored in every inning. Three in the first, two in the second, two in the third. Yeah. And, and Fort Morgan's looking for their first hit of the game. And we just need to start getting aggressive on the ball. And we need to start playing some good baseball here. I mean, we need a good inning right here. Here's Charlie Langford. Hit into a fielder's choice his first time up. It was a 4-3 double play, in fact. The stretch and the offering. Squaring to bunt, and he missed it. Yep. It was down in the zone. It's 0-1. Langford, Diaz, and Lopez in the visiting half of the fourth inning. The stretch and the offering. Swung on and chopped foul third base side on another pitch below the knees. 0 and 2 to Langford. Well, and I think the big thing here is you just can't force it. You got to let him pitch to you and don't just start chasing everything. But now we're down in the count 0 2. And neither pitch, I don't think, was a strike. They were both nope. below the knees. No balls and two strikes to Charlie Langford. Well, see if he's a, Charlie's a good two strike hitter though. The stretch and the offering by Clifford. Fastball's down and in. The right hander's thrown just 39 pitches. Yeah. That's unheard of. One and two. Yeah, he's really economizing those pitches well. There's that seven pitch second inning. The offering swung on and grounded a third, and oh, the ball a... is misplayed over there. Ricochets to the shortstop right. Yeah. And Charlie's on, but that's an error on the third baseman, Carmona. Still not a base hit for the Mustangs, but they do have a base runner. I don't know what the first baseman's complaining about. Yeah, well, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know what he's trying to say. Sure, here's Jason Diaz, who struck out swinging his first time up. Right now, the sun at our backs. And it feels good. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, not too hot. 
I think Saturday might be a different story. That's correct. The weather does not look good for Saturday. And that's more for the youth baseball that John will be coaching in the, the River Ruckus in Fort Morgan. A, a long-time traditional baseball event. The pitch fouled off to the right. No balls and one strike. Straight up at 5 o'clock. This is Morgan County's B106. KPRB Brush Fort Morgan. I'm John Beltran with John Prouty. Live from Skyline High School in Longmont. Right now, the Mustangs trail seven to nothing in the fourth inning. The stretch, the pitch, swung on, fouled off to the right. I'm telling you, that location is just really nice. He's just coming in on these hitters. Yeah, and I will tell you that he's, they've shaded over to the right field, right field line there, um, anticipating that he's gonna be trying to loop one out there. 0-2, oh the pitch, low with a fastball, one and two. And two runs would be nice. Seven to two, something like that. Seven to three. Yep, sure would. Down to the count is Diaz. The pitch. And that's down and away with another fastball. Two and two. Seven runs on six hits for Skyline. They've committed an error. No runs, no hits. Two errors for Fort Morgan. Charlie with a three-step advantage. The pitch, he takes off, swing and a miss, no throw. It's a stolen base. Diaz strikes out for the second time of the game. One down for Lopez. Hit that soft liner to second. In the second. That could have been a heck of a hit and run. It could have been, and I think that's what the, what the design was. Um, just didn't transpire that way. Gomez playing in at first base. Well, Lopez does have speed if he can lay one down. The pitch swung on and lifted into right center field, and that might hit a gap, yes, but that's going to drop for a base a hit. Langford's going to round third, double. and that's going to be an RBI double for Lopez, and the Mustangs are on the board at 7-1 at the top nice. of the fourth inning. Very nice, because you just don't want to get blanked in a game ever. But Got that it. was a nice gap hit right out there to right center. First hit of the game, and it's an RBI for Angel Lopez. Here's Samson Ortega, who popped a first. Well, the, the other positive thing is, is that all of these hitters have seen this pitcher, and so they kind of know his stuff now, and um, hopefully they can start hitting him. Angel off of second. Ortega awaits the pitch. Swung on and grounded sharply on one hop to the shortstop right. Looks at second. Fires to first for the out. Two down. Hit well by Ortega. But he's retired. And here is Miguel Davila. Yeah, unfortunately, the shortstop didn't even have to move to get that. Well, we saw a bunt signal, a single. And then you hit the ball that hard. Right. And it's an out. Davila was hit by a pitch in his first plate appearance. The pitch popped foul and out of play off to the right. No balls and one strike on Miguel Davila. Langford just scored on the double by Lopez, the offering. Swung on line towards right field, coming on, playing it on a hop. Lopez is going to step on third. Why did he not score there? He got I, a bad, bad jump. There's two yeah, outs in the inning. There is two outs. I don't know why, because the two outs, you're moving on contact. Well, the board says one, one. out. I, I've got two down in the inning. Is it? Let's see. Maybe it is. is it, did Maybe I put, that's why. Maybe it's just one out. Let's check. Because I know Ortega got out. All right. All right, let's see. Here's Chase Prouty. I don't know what I've got here. Do I have something? And the pitch is a ball. Oh, there's two down. Diaz struck out. Oh, that's right. And then you had the sharp grounder. There's two down. That yeah, board is wrong. That board I think is wrong. The, I think Josh thought... There's one out. There's actually two outs. Yeah, there's two down. There's not one out in this inning. And 
but he should have scored on that play. Yeah, he should have. The pitch to Prouty. Swung on and chopped left side, headed for left field off oh, the third yeah. base. There you go, club. there you go. That's a base hit. Scoring is Lopez, and he's in anyway. The RBI by Chase makes it 7-2. to two. Hey, Shelly. Shelly. And here is J.J. Marquez. The Mustangs now have three hits in the inning after none in the first three innings. Well, and they've done some good work on two outs, so we'll see if they can get something going again. The stretch and the offering. Fastball is outside. One ball and no strikes. Now you got to pitch in place of defense. If not, these two runs are going to be for naught. Right. Looking back in the offering. Swing and a miss. Blew a fastball right by the right-handed hitting sophomore. Count levels at one and one. Well, and you want, the one thing you hope, hope for is getting these runs is it starts giving them some momentum again to play that good defense. By the way, I don't blame the scoreboard on that. you got to know. You have to know. know. It's You don't rely on scoreboards. Ever. The offering. Swing and a miss. He missed that one badly. It's one and two. Another fastball up in the zone to J.J. Marquez. Davilon Prouty, second and first, respectively. Looking back, he's going to throw him the same pitch more than likely, but that one's in the dirt. Two and two, yeah. I mean, he swung and missed at two fastballs at the letters. You'd figure J.J.'s going to be ready for that fastball in the same location. Clifford, the right-hander, looks back. And the offering. Foul. Nice adjustment. Yep. He shortened up the swing. You could tell that was a much shorter swing. Yeah, he was getting that good snap swing in there. Yeah, two-strike swing. Yep, that was a two-strike swing. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on, two across. In the top of the fourth inning, seven to two Falcons, the pitch. Popped Another foul, foul, and that pitch was well above the letters. Yep. Remains at two and two. To J.J. Marquez. Runners take their leads. The pitch. Swung on and grounded a third. And the ball is misplayed and running towards the bag and stepping on the oh. bag is Carmona for the force. Why and wasn't he running hard and sliding in there? Well, you got to do that if you're going to third. And oh. Davila was the base runner at second. And the inning, that half inning is over. For the Mustangs, two runs on three hits. There was one skyline air and two left. Three and a half complete. Skyline 7, Fort Morgan 2 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Three and one half innings are in the books and Skyline leads Fort Morgan 7-2. to two. The Falcons coming to bat after the Mustangs countered with a couple of runs. An RBI double from Angel Lopez, a run scoring single by Chase Prouty. And now we have our third pitcher of the game for Fort Morgan. That is Miguel Davila. That's because Ortiz threw quite a bit yesterday and scuffled through that third inning. Ortiz is back at second, and Jaden Carrera playing his third position is over at third base. But you just got to throw strikes. I mean, you look at it right now. The two pitchers for the Mustangs have walked five and hit a batter and committed two balks. Yes, and we've got to clean that up. No matter what happens in this game, this season, we've got to start cleaning that up. We've got to start getting everybody running hard and getting their baseball brains turned on. And this is not going to be easy for Davila. He's facing the heart of the order, 3-4-5. and five. His numbers are not bad, 1-0 with a 4.42 ERA. This is his sixth appearance, the pitch. Fastball is a strike, a very generous strike down and in. It's 0-1. Now, the strike zone seems to be getting lower, John. Yeah, it does. The pitch. Fastball is upstairs, and account levels at one ball and one strike to Grayson the, Gomez. The umpire's had a pretty well-established zone, though. He's been oh, consistent yeah. with oh, it. Oh, yeah, so. I think he's doing a good job. The pitch. Fastball is a little bit high. Ball two, strike one. 
to double G. Grayson Gomez, the first baseman for Skyline. Got to go with a fastball here, and he does, and it's fouled off to the right. Gomez, Lanier, and Wright in the bottom of the fourth inning. Two balls, two strikes. The offering. Curveball oh, called nice strike one. three. That was nasty. That was. On the inside corner, Davila's first batter results in a strikeout. And one. Miguel's got some nice breaking stuff. Well, and now the three Mustang pitchers have all registered exactly one strikeout. Jaden had just one. Ortiz had a called strike three against Talon Starcevich. And now here's Matt Lanier. This guy's trouble. Four RBIs yesterday, a walk and a double today. The pitch swung on and grounded a first. Strange plays it off his body, oh. gets behind him, and now tosses the first late, and that's going to be a big-time error. That was a routine play. Yeah, looks like he might have taken it off the wrist. Well, he took it off the wrist, John, because his glove was too close to his body. Yeah. So, in other words, you have it too close. You don't see the ball, and yeah. it hits you on the wrist. You That you glove's got to be glove out, there. out there. Yes, you do. We got to be able to receive the ball. <clears throat> yeah, that glove was it was way too close to his body. You got to get it out and then pull it in. Exactly. That's your shock absorber. I love that term. Swing and a miss. Runner going to second. No throw. It's a stolen base. JD Wright, a bunt single, and he's grounded out. Lanier. But again, it's little plays like that. That's a routine play. It is. And Strange has been pretty good at first base this year. Just. Didn't play that one the way he wanted to. The offering. Curveball is upstairs. And the count now at one ball and one strike. One on, one out. 7-2. Skyline, a five-run lead in the bottom of the fourth inning. Diaz lays down the sign in the pitch. Swung on and lifted towards left center field. Should be an easy play. Ortega to his right in the gap. Makes the one-handed catch. Holding up at second is Lanier. There's two down. And that'll send up. Samuel Carmona, 0 for 2 in the game. Yesterday was 0 for 2. Check it, he was 1 for 3 yesterday, but 1 for 5 in the two games against Fort Morgan. And again, this is the heart of the order. You get this out without a run. Now you go to the fifth inning down 5. Swag and a miss on a pitch up and in. Miguel's looking good. Yeah, he really is. And... I think that that gives some momentum back to them if we can get out of this in, a, in just going quick. And the 0-1. Curveball is gorgeous. <laughs> On the inside corner at the knees, it's 0-2. One pitch away from having their first zero of this game. Down and away. That's a good breaking ball. Waste pitch. One ball and two strikes to Carmona. The right-handed hitting third baseman for Skyline. Runner off of second. The offering. And that one bounces in. Nice block by Diaz. You don't want to get cute here. No. Just because you're ahead in the count. Well, and, and you, you, you leveled the count right there. And I haven't seen the high fastball yet. No, but he's going either with that or the breaking ball. 2-2. Two -two. Nope. And that, he's shorter on that fastball badly. Well, now we've got a full count. And that left shoulder again flew open, which is why the angle was way off. Right. Three balls and two strikes to Carmona. The pitch swung on and lifted oh. to left field. That's got some carry to it. In the gap, Ortega to his right makes the grab. Nice. Samson Ortega was able to close the gap on that long fly ball hit by Carmona. And Skyline is kept off the board. No runs on no hits. One miscue and one left to the fifth we go in Longmont. Skyline 7, Fort Morgan 2 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Let's hit the bottom. Check at the top of the fifth inning. The Mustangs trail Skyline in Longmont 7-2. to two. It'll be the top of the order. Jaden Carrera. Followed by Isaiah Ortiz and Charlie Langford, and Jaden has had a really rough game. Yeah, it's a good time for them to come alive right here. Well, Jaden did not pitch well, and he's 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. So, But, you know, baseball is the ultimate redemption sport. Get it one is. big swing, and you're back in rhythm. <laughs> and it's a game of errors. The pitch squaring to bunt, and that hit him on the foot. 
threw him a breaking ball, and it got him on the instep. And that's huge. That's huge. Well, because you have the leadoff man on, and on top of that, you got speed at first base. You do. You've got speed. Um, and Ortiz is not slow. I mean, you've got speed at well, the front of this order. Without question. I mean, your top three can set it up for Jason Diaz. Isaiah Ortiz has walked and struck out. But the third baseman, Carmona, is playing in. I'm not sure he'll bunt. The stretch, the offering. Swung on and chopped the second. Gutierrez charges, tags the runner, throws to first. That's a double play. Or did he get the runner? Let's I see. I don't know that he got him. He might have missed him. Yeah, they He's call him safe, safe at second. Safe at think, second. I think Gutierrez waved at him, but I don't think he tagged him. Yep, you're right. Four to three. So, I mean, it was good on Gutierrez for trying to sell that. One down, and here is Charlie Langford. Well, and Gutierrez, the second baseman, knew it as well because he's not complaining. Nope. And even Carrera was like, no. Right. <laughs> yeah. He rounded the bag. He was ready to go to third. Charlie Langford at 0 for 2. Scored in the last inning, reached on an air. And that pitch is going to skip all the way to the backstop. And a third is Carrera. And that's the first time I've seen a catcher's bounce off this backstop because it just kind of rolled up and rolled right back out. To mm -hmm. Yeah, quite the ricochet there. Yeah. One ball and no strike. Skyline scored three runs in the first, two in the second, two in the third. The Mustangs with four runs, or two runs in the top of the fourth. The pitch, fastball, strike one on the outer half at the knees. One ball, one strike. One out, one on. With an open stance, the pitch, and that bounces nice. Stab there by Hufford. He kind of like took a chance there, John. He was not going to block that pitch. He was either going to come up with a clean or it would have been another wild pitch. It, yeah, exactly. It's a 2-1. And here it is. Swung on and chopped left side. It'll score a run. Carmona third. Fires to first for the out. Give Charlie the RBI. He's now 0 for 3, but the Mustangs make this a 4-run game. 4-run game, not 4-1. to It's 7-3 to skyline. Well, and again... Mustangs have done some great work on two outs, and hopefully they can dial it up right here and start hitting the ball around because they're starting to hit it. Well, and that time, John, they scored without the benefit of a hit. That one skips to the screen. It was the hit by pitch, the grounder, the wild pitch, and a grounder. So, yep. So we need it. We they need still, still not hitting. I mean, they haven't. They've only hit in that third inning right. with the three hits. So they could be a lot better here. Diaz has struck out twice. 1-0. Oh. Fastball is upstairs. Man, I think they got a break there. Uh, I think I that think was a strike. <laughs> it uh, looks Jason really Diaz close. is not five foot one. That should have been a strike. Two balls and no strikes. And the pitch. Swung on, lined on one, hop to the shortstop, right, backhand, sets, fires, inning over. But the Mustangs do score a run without a base hit. They do not leave anybody on base. Four and a half innings are in the books. It's Skyline 7, Fort Morgan 3 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Skyline scored the first seven runs of the game, but the Mustangs have tallied the last three. But they are running out of innings. We're in the bottom of the fifth, and Skyline leads on their home field 7-3. to three. And there's no doubt that Fort Morgan's best pitcher today is currently on the mound. That's Miguel Davila. After Jaden Carrera struggled in the first two innings and Isaiah Ortiz had his issues in the third, but Miguel was very good in the fourth inning. And he's back on the mound in inning number five. And he went through the heart of the order in that fourth inning. Here are the seven, eight, and nine hitters. Doesn't mean anything, John, because Starcevich has a two-run single in this game. Yep. And so it's just one of those you got to pitch to each one as they come up. And the offering. Curveball oh. is a strike. That breaking ball was the same one that Starcevich struck out on against Isaiah Ortiz yeah. when he was on the mound. The offering swung on, chopped foul, third base side. 0 oh 2. 
and a pitcher's count. We all know what should be coming. Yep. See if he goes with that high fastball. He's setting up outside. It's going to be a breaking ball. Nope. One fastball, and it was high, but it was very Way high. high. <laughs> one ball and two strikes to Talon Starcevich. The kick and the pitch way outside. You could see that off his hand. There was no mm -hmm. way that was going to be a strike. Two and two. See, again, throws balls that are close to being strikes. Let's see what Miguel does here. The pitch swung on, popped up right side, foul territory, strains the first baseman in the coaching oh. box, drops the ball. And that's a second error in as many innings. In and out of his glove. In and out of his glove. Well... And you just have to take your time with those. Well, John, I mean, quite frankly, that's... Um, that's a tough one for him. The pitch swung on, popped up right side again. Shallow right field, strange into foul territory again. And he made oh. the catch. It didn't look smooth, though. He didn't, but he redeemed himself wow. with that one. That did not look pretty by nope. Michael Strange, but he doesn't <laughs> care. He got a reprieve, and he put it away. Yeah, got her done. Here's Brody Hufford, who is one for two. <laughs> Hufford had a single his last time up. And the offering. Fastball is up and in. And I don't think Michael's looking into the sun. I just think he hasn't fielded a lot of those, John. He's fielded a lot of balls, but not uh, not up in the air. And the breaking ball is a strike. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you, Davila's breaking balls are working really well. But, yeah, he hasn't fielded a lot of those. And so it's just kind of new territory for him as well. One ball, one strike in the offering. Swung on, tapped foul towards the backstop. It's one and two to Brody Hufford. All of a sudden, Miguel neutralizing this offense, but they have not had a 1-2-3 inning. They want a 1-2-3 yeah. to get back in the dugout. You've got a shot in the final two innings. Trailing 7-3, to three, the pitch. Swung on, lined, and caught by Langford. Oh, I called that a little bit early, but uh, there was no way he was going to drop that ball off the end of the bat, a soft line drive, and yeah. two down. If he'd have dropped that, he'd have been hearing about it. <laughs> well, that would have been an error. Him. Yeah, it would have been an error. It was a soft line drive right to him. Two down, and here is Tobias Pinson. The pitch, fastball is high. 0 for 1, that bunt out, and then he walked. Well, and it looks like they got some uh, movement down there in the bullpen. The pitch, curveball is tapped foul at the end of the bat right side. I love the way Miguel's pitching. His motion yeah. is very easy. He short arm maybe one ball. He's it keeping it in the strike zone. His number two pitch that breaking balls it might be his number one in this out right but he's smooth very he's smooth. smooth in his delivery the pitch curve ball is upstairs two balls and one strike you just got to finish off the inning no two out rally for skyline if you're the mustangs in this situation out of the stretch the pitch and that one he threw in the dirt three and one skyline has had at least one base runner in every inning Three and one, looking in, the offering. That is, oh, just missed with a fastball, but it was inside. It was. Not by much, though. No. Quality pitch. That was but a good the, location. Yep. Yeah. Here is major trouble. Emilio Gutierrez has not put the ball in play, but he's been on base three times, hit by a pitch and walked twice. Well, and you know left-handed left -handed hitters can screw up a right-handed pitcher real fast. The offering swung on and lifted into right center. It's got some carry to it. Ortega to his left is going to make the catch. Well, there That's we go. a quality breaking ball thrown by Miguel Davila. And just like that, the inning is history. No runs, no hits, one error, and one left. Let's head to the sixth inning. Skyline 7, Fort Morgan 3 on the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Let's go to the top of the sixth inning. And the Mustangs trail seven to three, five, six, and seven. Lopez, Ortega, and Davila. We should be going interactive in the bottom of the six for a brief moment. 
But first things first, with Lopez stepping to the plate. Lopez had that big RBI double. First Fort Morgan hit of the game, the pitch by Clifford. He's gone the distance, or at least at this point, 68 pitches. That one is in the dirt. A ball and no strikes. Got to get that leadoff guy on. The offering swung on and hit in the air into right center, but it's going to be a routine play to his left. And making the grab is Jonathan Kanar. One out, hit pretty well, but they had him played really well. Yeah, they had they knew right where he was going to hit it to, had him shaded over there. And had he got that down a little bit, just where it was dropping early, that would have been a different story. But Good point. There was no topspin on that one. No, nope, none. Samson Ortega's 0 for 2. The offering. Swung on, chopped the third. Carmona's right there, fires to first. Two down. And Ortega is 0 for 3. And I actually think that was Braden Hilzer that hit that ball. Oh, you're right. Thank you, John. You are right. It was Hilzer. You are absolutely right. Here's Miguel Davila. Yeah, that was. Davila is one for one, hit by a pitch and singled. Bet on base twice. Fastball, a strike on the outer half at the knees. And this looks like the second inning, John. Remember seven pitches in that inning. Uh, yeah, and it's going quick. we got to turn that around right now. Down and away. One ball and one strike. To Miguel Davila, Chase Prouty's on deck. And the offering. Down and away again. Well, Davila's been on base twice. proudy has been on base twice. And then J.J. to follow. If you can get to the top of the order in this inning, you could change the framework of the inning. That fastball runs inside. It's 3-1. and one. Yeah, so it seems like his location's starting to drift a little bit. Three balls, one strike. That's a little bit low. That was just below the knees. And it's a walk. And for Jake Clifford, that's only his third walk of the game. And we'll have a courtesy runner. Let's see. I'll have... right, Riley Elric. Elric. Not a freshman, is he? He is. Okay. Got to take another step on that lead, though. He's got a shallow lead. Chase has walked and singled. Yeah, that's you can need at least two steps. He's on top of the bag, and that's down and away. One ball and no strikes. You yeah. know what, what was good about Chase's first plate appearance? OBP, baby. A yep. walk. <laughs> you don't want your average in OBP to be the same. You want to yeah. get on other ways. The offering. Swung on and grounded sharply to second, and flipping to second for the out on that well-hit ball was Emilio Gutierrez, 4-6, to six, and that will end the top half of inning number six. For the Mustangs in the frame, no runs, no hits, no errors, and a base runner left. Let's head to the bottom of the sixth inning. With the score from Skyline High School in Longmont, the home team, the Falcons, lead the Mustangs 7-3 to three on B106. And the Eastern Plains Sports Network. We'll go interactive here in just a second. Bottom of the sixth inning. Skyline lead 7-3. to three. Jonathan Kanar and Miguel Davila's third inning of work. And a breaking ball is a strike. A pop out, a single, and a two-run single for Kanar. Miguel Davila has controlled that strike zone. Fastball is upstairs. Yeah, he's pitching really well. One ball and one strike to pitch. Curveball, that stayed high. It is two and one to Kanar. Davila to the plate. Not even close. That one's down and away. He's got to get this first hitter. If not, we're looking at a situation that is not favorable for the Mustangs. 
Three balls, one strike, and the pitch swung on, drilled into right center field for a base hit. And that might be Elric in right field, uh, John, because that's a lefty out in right field for the Mustangs. Yep. And I'm not sure if that is, I don't know that Elric is a lefty. Is uh, it, that might be uh, is it Cooper Swetzig. No, yeah, Swetzig, yeah. Uh, yeah, because Cooper Chisholm is playing uh, JV. JV, anyway. Yeah. So I think it's uh, Keegan Swetzig out there. Okay. Nonetheless, that was on a 3-1 throwback to first and off the glove of Strange. And again, like you said, he's got to get that glove out there a little more. He's playing it way Yeah, too it's close. too close. Seventh hit of the game for Fort Morgan has three hits all in the same inning. <laughs> that's it. They have not gotten a base hit. Runner goes, and that's uh -huh. in a dirt no throw. It's an easy steal. Yeah. With Grayson Gomez up there. Walked, popped out, and struck out. Once we get to a couple of outs in this inning, we'll go interactive. And right now, Miguel down at 1-0. The pitch, curveball is outside. Just missed. Two balls and no strikes. Either way, even if he struggles in this inning, he's throwing well. Yeah, I, I yeah, that pitch was not a strike. First of all, if, if they're chattering for the Fort Morgan dugout, that's ridiculous, and I, I'm sorry because you're so far away. It was a borderline pitch, but to say that that was definitely, uh, definitely a strike is ridiculous. That was, and now we have an ejection. Well, I think Coach Langford is going to be tossed out of the game or somebody. No. Let's see. No. I, it is Coach Shuttleworth. Somebody. Yeah, I just feel that yeah, as, an, as an umpire, you should never be getting emotional in the game. And as soon as you start getting emotional in the game, you lose control of that game, and that's when problems get started. Yeah, well, so, luckily it's happening in the sixth inning and not earlier because it's worse when right. it's earlier in the game. Right. I mean, as the umpire, you calmly walk over, and you say, Coach, you need to keep everybody under control, or we're gonna I'm going to start tossing people. You don't sit there and start yelling at them. I agree. However, and this is not just to counter your point, we saw this yesterday when Josh came out on a pitch – that was outside, and I know the home plate umpiring was a little bit edgy outside uh, yesterday. You know, it yep. was more inconsistent. But now that's two games in a row. That's two games in a row late in the game where you had some chattering uh, from the dugout. So, but yeah, I mean, the umpire, he's a paid professional too. Exactly. Just let it go. And let it go. Having umpired many games, you got to be the consummate professional. You're the guy in charge. Well, and I'll say this, yesterday's umpire, he kept his cool. He did. He kept he his cool because, his and cool. He, he did it the right way. This one, uh, not willing to, to put up with it, and he just ejected a Fort Morgan coach. Yeah. And all this does is prolong a game for no reason, quite frankly, John. And I'm not sure why Langford is out talking to the field umpire now. Right. Unless it was the field umpire. I don't, I don't know. I didn't hear anything. I didn't see anything, so... Well, I'm 100% with you when it comes to the umpire. you got to behave. But at the same time, knock it off. This is two games in a row late in the game that a Fort Morgan coach has, has gotten said something to an right. umpire. And, John, they're not going to reverse a call. You're not. No. Where are you going with that? No. But I'm looking at the umpire right now, and his body language and the way he's staring down the bench It's combative. There, it is. And so you're creating it. You're, in, you're increasing the tensity in you know the, the tension between you're right absolutely take control two balls and no strikes and that hit him and see what happens there if it affects your own pitcher now yeah because miguel now just hit a batter after giving up the base hit to canar and here's matt lanier who's walked doubled in a board on an air Well, and especially with this umpire, he's he's been pretty consistent. He has been. So, you know and, what? You, you, and pretty composed. And he just all of a sudden just popped. Yeah. And we don't know if that's the first time he heard something for the dugout and he got fed up. But, right. you know, this is, after all, this is high school baseball. They just got to, let's is. make it a fun game and not, you know, not so. But as soon as you lose your composure like that, you lose control of the game. There's no doubt. Like I said, luckily it's a sixth inning, and this didn't happen early. Yeah, exactly. Squaring to bunt, nice bunt, straight towards the pitcher, and David at a first for the out. That'll be a sacrifice, one to three. One down. 
And Lanier can do it all. That was a really easy bunt. And here's J.D. Wright. And John, if Fort Morgan wants calls, they better start throwing more strikes. Exactly. You know, you've got to you've I mean, got to make it to you, where you he cannot, can't. You can't. It's as, not a marginal call. You correct. You give him no reason to make a marginal call. Infield in, breaking ball is up and in. I mean, you and I want Fort Morgan to win <laughs> more badly than anybody else. We've right. had sons in this program. Mine graduated two years ago, and yours is a junior. Or three years ago now. Wow, time right. is flying. Yeah, it's been three years. The ago. pitch. Swung on and fisted, fisted it. And it's going to be in oh. fair territory. Did he touch it? And now it bounces he, foul. If Diaz touched it, then that's, the bases are loaded. And I think that he's saying he touched it. Yep. Well, Diaz with no debate because if he didn't touch it, he would have said something. So it'll be a base hit on a ball that was hit just out in front of the plate, about 15 feet high, if even that. Right. And it had such English on it, it spun back towards the third baseline. I mean, that's about a, a five-foot base hit, and the bases are loaded. Yeah, and that's just a fluke hit. I saw Davila going over. He tripped, tried to get there. And the pitch. Up and in. And Diaz trying to get out there to get to the ball, but had to wait for the runner to clear him. Oh, for 3 is Carmona. The pitch way outside. 2-0. and oh. All right, we'll go Facebook Live here for just a couple of batters. 7-3 to three skyline. Fort Morgan's got to keep it at 7-3. And the 2-0 pitch. That's a strike with a changeup on the inner half. We're on Facebook Live right now for these two hitters, Carmona and the on-deck hitter, Tobias Pinson, with the Mustangs down by four. And the base is loaded. 2-1 pitch. Swung on hit deep into left field. Going way back is Lopez. And the catch is made. That's actually not Lopez. And uh, tagging up and scoring to make it 8-3 to three is Canar on the sack fly by Carmona. And they've changed that outfield, John. That's definitely not Lopez. That's Hilzer. That's Hilzer out there. Hilzer made the catch in left field. So it's 8-3. to three. It looks like Angel has moved over to center field. That's correct. Yeah, Ortega was taken out. All right, we don't have much interaction here on Facebook Live like we did in the third inning. But we'll keep it for one more hitter as it's an 8-3 to three game and Brody Hufford is on deck. Skyline getting an insurance run. Yeah, you can watch some of the action right now, but just a couple of hitters. Miguel to the plate. Swag and a miss. That was a nasty off-speed pitch. It was. Caught him way ahead of it. No balls and one strike. And the offering. Oh, holy mongus. <laughs> On the outside corner with another breaking ball. It's 0-2. Man, he's thrown two of his best pitches to this right-handed hitter, Tobias Pinson. The pitch. Swing and a miss. On another breaking ball. Three breaking balls. Three strikes. And Miguel Davila does a fine job limiting skyline to a run in the inning when it could have been worse. We'll complete our coverage here on Facebook Live. Thanks to those who've just logged on. We'll be doing this for all future road games, normally towards the middle of the game and the end of the game. As we will head to the seventh inning, Skyline with a run in the frame, and the Mustangs are down five. They need to rally, trailing eight to three in Longmont on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Let's head to the seventh inning. It's eight to three in favor of Skyline. Yeah, Pinson was not the hitter who just struck out. They, he was two doors down. All right, so this Zwetzig. is Keegan Zwetzig to lead off the seventh, and the fastball is mm. a strike. Uh, that that's another like low strike. Dirt. <laughs> it looked pretty low. He had to scoop that. I'm surprised he called that a strike, unless we're getting umpire-itis and just want to get the game over. And the offering. Swing and a miss. That one was a strike, and he just took too big of a swing there at 0-2. This is a tough spot to be in if you're Zwedzig. It is. Not too many at-bats this season. You're down by five. It's a seventh inning. The offering. And that's oh. a called strike three outside corner. Borderline pitch. Well, and, but you know as well as I do, if you got two on you, don't ever let the umpire decide. That's Poke correct. it off yep. every time. Make him waste a bunch of pitches. If you get the out, you've, at least you've had a good at bat. 
Jake Clifford has now struck out six Mustangs. Here is Jaden Carrera, scored a run, struck out twice, hit by a pitch, he's 0 for 2. And the offering squaring a bunt and is taken for a strike. That yeah, was those early innings. You're up 7 nothing after 3. You're just playing catch-up the whole game. Former Morgan's played well the last three-plus innings, but you can't get in that big of a hole. And that swung on and grounded up the middle. Second baseman, Gutierrez, bobbles, picks it up, throws to first for the out. Two down. And, John, we've had lots of plays like that where the ball's been hit hard, middle infield. But it's right to them. we got to hit the gaps. And they're not making mistakes. No. There's no errors, and we're not hitting the gaps. We're hitting it right to their position. Here's Isaiah Ortiz with two down and the bases empty in the seventh. The pitch. Lo oh, oh, wow. Come on. Now now getting ridiculous. It is, and that's, that's the second one I've seen where when the catcher turns his glove over. Yeah, that, that's a that's ball. That's a ball. That's, that's, that's below the a, knees. Yeah. Oh, one pitch. Popped up, foul territory, right side. Gomez, the first baseman, makes the one-handed grab. It's a one, two, three inning. And on 84 pitches, Jake Clifford goes the distance. And Skyline wins the game over the Mustangs by a score of 8-3. to three. We will take a quick two-minute break. And we'll wrap it up after this. Final score once again. Skyline 8 Fort Morgan three, as we'll head to break here momentarily and then come back with the advanced Agra Solutions post game show. You're listening to Morgan County's B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. The Skyline Falcons defeat the Fort Morgan Mustangs in Longmont eight to three. The Mustang post game show is brought to you by Advanced Agra Solutions. Get a full plan of seed, food, and water for your field. Now is the time to begin your planning for the growing season. Call Dusty or Roxy 970-571-2024. Advanced Agri Solutions. John Beltran with John Prouty. Eight runs, eight hits, one error, eight left on base for Skyline. Three runs, three hits, three errors, five left on base for the Mustangs. The winning pitcher was Jay Clifford. The loss went to Jaden Carrera. Time of the game, one hour and 47 minutes. And the game was decided early with seven runs in the first three innings. Talon Startsevich had a two-run single the first inning. That was preceded by J.D. Wright's suicide squeeze. And then they extended the lead in the second. Jonathan Kennar, who had a nice game with three hits, he had an RBI single. Grayson Gomez checked that uh, later on. Matt Lanier with a run-scoring double made it 5 to nothing. Then it was 7 to nothing with those two runs in the third inning. And Jonathan Kennar had a two-run single, so he had three RBIs. In the first two innings or the three innings of the game, I should say, Mustangs did come back with two runs in the fourth, one in the fifth. Angel Lopez with a run scoring double, Chase Prouty with an RBI single. And then in the fifth inning, they got a sacrifice fly by, or checked out, a ground out, a grounder, RBI grounder by Charlie Langford. But that was it. Skyline had an insurance run in the bottom of the sixth there. Now 2 0 in league play, 3 and 4 overall. The Mustangs are now 2-2 two and two in league action. They don't play till next Thursday against Mountain View, and they are 5-4 and four on the season, and that makes next Thursday's game that much more critical, John, because you don't want to follow a five-game winning streak with a somewhat of a lengthy losing streak. It's a short losing streak now. It's okay. You played really well in the last four innings. It was just the first three that got you into trouble. Right, and what we need to figure out is get those wrinkles out to where we're not having those first three innings. Get rid of those, play solid baseball all the way through, and we'll start putting some W's back on the board. Well, you know what they have to do in the first three innings? I'll use a John Prouty term. you got to dial it up. Dial it up. Dial, I mean, dial it up from the outset. Yeah. And, I mean, they'll be home next Thursday. But I think when you turn the corner, I, you know, when they kind of turned the corner a little bit this season was when they wanted Frederick, but they also mm -hmm. wanted Frederick last season. You want to win at Mountain View or one of these, one of these schools that is a, a solid baseball program, that just takes you to another level. It does. And I think the biggest thing is, is you want to come out and be overwhelming to the other team, not underwhelming. When you're underwhelming, then you set a different tone and they take control. Well, yeah, you cannot lose the game either before you take the field or in the first two innings. Right. Fort Morgan played better once they were down 7 nothing, but 
you can't get to that spot. It's almost like you're saying, oh, now we can relax because we're not expected to win the game. they got to have that attitude that they took in the, or at least their performance from the fourth inning in the first inning. Exactly. Well, and you, and you said it very clearly, too. You can't go down seven runs in the when you're playing an away game. It just sets you up for failure right there. Right. You don't have the last at bat. You've got all the factors against you. And it was already tough enough knowing that they were one strike away from what would have been a split of the series that they won yesterday, but the Mustangs still have a winning record. You come back, John and I will be with you on Thursday from Fort Morgan at 4 o'clock with the Mustangs play the Mountain View Mountain Lions. All right, for John Prouty, I'm John Beltran. Enjoy the rest of your evening. We'll talk to you one week from today when the Mustangs face Mountain View. Go eat a burrito. There you go, on <laughs> National Burrito Day. Yes, it is national. Live out the theme of the day. Yep. <laughs> You've got a chance right now. It's only 5.55. you got time. It's Now it's dinner time or, or soon to be on National Burrito Day. The final score, Skyline 8, Fort Morgan 3 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network.